high maintenance women an excuse to be rude or worthy and i am worthy are they truly worthy of extra effort or are some women just so far up their own butts surrounded in shit. they assume they need and deserve extra how are you high maintenance girlies affording life right now genuine question like how are you affording the nails the toes the skincare, the pretty hair, the super nice clothes. Usually when you're a high maintenance person, you have a nice car. Um, the Botox, the anything, like anything. How are you affording that? You sell your ass. Very good question. Very, very good question. Naturally, women need more things than men just to maintain themselves through the month. We're not talking about the makeup just yet. Just general basic things a woman would need through the month to take care of herself physically and hygienically. Fact. Okay. Fact. So that's one expense. Add on top of that, the extra effort women make with their appearance, i.e. makeup, their fillers, injections, Botox, drugs, surgeries, whatever. All the extra things women have to do. Now, my point to all of this is, for the most part, as men, we like a decent looking woman. God damn. A decent looking woman. It's very expensive. And personally, I believe there are a lot of women who can look like baddies simply because if they have the money to, they can. Yeah. So my point is, how many modern women want extra because they need it for modern survival in this cost of living crisis? Cost money. Cost m m money. Compared to some women just being downright demanding, expecting men to jump through hoops to give them a lifestyle that they can't even afford themselves. Can she afford to look that good? Nope. Or is she one day away, one week away from looking like some rough, broke, dusty chick? Yeah. yeah? Um, do you have a sugar daddy? Hmm. Are you doing some sketchy things online, if you know what I mean? You know, Maybe. like you look beautiful, but I'm just curious how you're affording that life. For example, the reason I'm making this video is I took my daughter, who's not even a teen, to go get her nails done. So fake nails. She's been begging, begging, begging. And I told her that's fine, but she needed to pay for it. So she was like, Mommy, how much money do I bring? And I'm like, oh, 50 bucks. That'll cover it. Well, let me just tell you, the girl is definitely already high maintenance. So she picked out a pretty design. I asked the nail tech lady, I'm like, how much will that be? And she's like, $75. $75. I was like, okay, like I'm going to pay the extra because, you know, my daughter really wants these nails. So then I'm like, how much would be your basic set for fake nails? And she was like, basic sets $55. Money, big money, cash money. Basic set $55. As men, we don't worry about this stuff. Unless we're buying it for a woman or female in our family, we don't care about this stuff. No one cares. $55 for a set of nails and stuff? Oh, okay. But like she said, what are women doing to maintain their current lifestyle? You sell your ass? Um, do you have a sugar daddy? Do a lot of women have sugar daddies? Yes, yes, yes. A lot of women have sugar daddies. Sugar. I think maybe more than ever, more women now have sugar daddies than ever before, for obvious reasons. Are some of these women doing OF, doing it only for their fans? Yes, of course, yes, of course they are. She's a freak. No matter how highly educated some women are, some of them are still too broke to afford to look that good. Now so they've got to show their boobs and butt to get extra cash. <laughs> a lot of women have a fear of missing out. As a man dating a woman with the fear of missing out, it could be quite expensive for you. Now, every time men make these points, women act like most men don't even have money anyway. That's not even the point I'm making. Regardless of if you have the money or not as a man, there are some women, a few, a few women who are worth the extra effort and expense. Yeah. But a lot of women aren't. A lot of women are so far up themselves, they believe this is what they should get. Also, a lot of women are used to simpish men. I love her so much, I don't care. <laughs> some sugar daddy simpish men. So some women expect this from certain men they date. They expect a man to come in and pay for her lifestyle. I am the table. Now to a degree, there's nothing wrong if she's worth it and if you believe she's worth it. However, a lot of women nowadays are not worth it. They think they are, act like they are. Suck it. But their history and attitude will tell you this woman does not deserve this extra. She can be high maintenance to a bunch of losers, but to me, no, she is the loser. She's just like a good fa fa fa. So then I go even lower, just out of curiosity. I'm like, how much is it just to paint her nails? To paint her nails would be $30. Hmm. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I have friends that do this every two weeks, every two to three weeks. Not only do they get their fake nails on, they get their toes done and then they go get a wax and then they go get their brows done and then they go get some Botox and then they wear the nicest clothes and they look beautiful. But I'm like, how are y'all affording that? Um, do you have a sh sugar daddy? Like he said, sh sh sugar daddy. Some are selling box, some are selling pics, some are selling sugar to older men. The good thing about a lot of modern women, they have many options and ways to make extra money. Now, does it mean her character may be diminished in her pursuit of extra money because of the amount of weird things she has to do? Yeah. 
Of course it does. That's the part women don't want to accept. High maintenance girly, but what does she do to maintain that lifestyle? Sold my soul. How are you all affording that lifestyle? Like, I haven't got my hair collared in three years because the last time I went to a professional, and I say professional because my mom's a beautician, so I, but one time I went to a friend who does hair because she's super good at it, and it was $160 plus a tip, and I'm like, I just can't. I can't do this. So I'm one hundred and sixty dollars. Who knows how long that hair would last? But as some men with wives and girlfriends, if or if you've ever had a wife or girlfriend, you know some of these stuff women do. Yes, some of them look better, but the expenses are amazing. They're crazy. Honestly, if I could tolerate it, I'd sell some women beauty products. It's endless money. I'm just curious how y'all looking hot every single day of your life, and not just going in a massive amount of debt, girls. They are in debt. Sh -sh 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 -daddy. If I'm talking to you, if I'm kissing on you, if I'm dating you, and I find out you're talking to one other girl, if you're flirting with one other girl, if you're doing some slimy stuff behind my back, you will never hear from me again. And that's one of my green and red flags, is that I'll ghost you, and I'll never tell you why. You'll never hear from me again, and you'll sit back for the rest of your life and be like, hmm, I wonder what happened here. And that's what you get. I would say I have a very strong reaction to the phrase, if they wanted to, they would. And I did a video on this a while ago. It's like, well, did they know they were supposed to? I think if they wanted to, they would is really more about if I want them to, then they should. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. A lot of women are very high maintenance nowadays. Not because she necessarily has a reason to be high maintenance. A lot of women are influenced by a lot of this crap on the internet. So this, if he wanted to, he would be us, is influencing a lot of women to believe. If a man really wanted to do this, I don't know, spend this money on you to do your hair, he would. When the reality is no. Sometimes as a man, you have no idea what the hell the woman wants. Women send off a lot of mixed signals. Sometimes simply as a woman, what do you want? Let me know what you want. I'm getting my back blown, blown, blown out. Then as a man, I could decide if I want to give it to you or not. That's what we really mean to say. I think part of the frustration with people when they have expectations of other people is they don't voice them out loud because they've somehow made it mean that it would mean more if this person did this thing that I want them to do and I didn't have to ask for it. If as a man, I wanted head and she had no idea, that means I should blame her for it because she doesn't know what I want right now at this moment in time. That's fucking ridiculous. I should blame her for it. Yeah, you see how dumb that sounds? Well, to a lot of women, no, that sounds perfectly normal. A man should instinctively know what I want and provide it. Bullshit. Okay. It does stem back from shocking no one. Our early childhood experiences of being met in this way, in this almost pre-verbal or non-verbal way, we shouldn't have to ask. They should just know. That is really only likely when you are an infant and you're being cared for, where somebody who has to be there for you to determine what cry means what it, that's the adult version but that's what a lot of men say women act like children because it's dumb to throw a temper tantrum because you want something when the person has no idea what you want a lot of women can be high demanding like this if it's not financial high maintenance she's emotionally high maintenance stressfully high maintenance crazily high maintenance that is the if they wanted to they would well if i want them to then they should i would do that so why aren't they doing that expectations have to be set out loud and agree upon before we even have a chance at them becoming a real thing between exactly. us and our romantic partner or us and our family or us and our friends if you only expect and never say it out loud it's almost a recipe or a guarantee for disaster and resentment if he wanted to he would truth is a woman that a man cares about him doing extra for her is nothing but a lot of women nowadays aren't worth the extra but they still demand it money big money cash money have a nice day Um, do you have a sh sh sugar daddy?